Kodak Black managed to hospitalize a prison guard during an incident with another inmate. You're not going to want to miss this. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The Kodak Black's latest arrest could land him behind bars for a decade. Did you want to win any of these items on the screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right back into the video. Prison incident. Kodak and another inmate got into a fight while they were at the Federal Detention Center in Miami. So what exactly happened to get Kodak Black back into the spotlight? Well, that would be a prison incident, one that was a little basic, if you can believe it. This happened at Miami's Federal Detention Center, which is where Kodak Black was taken to as he awaits sentencing for his various crimes. More on that in a bit. As a recent day went on, Kodak and another prisoner got into an altercation. Now, usually this would be where I say that Kodak and the other guy brawled it out, or that it was stopped before it could become anything. But in this case, that's not what happened at all. Wow, locked up. Andy has his court date coming up in, I believe, like two weeks. Apparently, he got into a tiff with someone. You see, the incident did happen, and then a guard got involved, like a good guard should, to go and break up the entire incident. When they did, Kodak Black harmed the guard in the groin so that he could get back into the fight. The kick was apparently so hard that it seriously hurt the guard, and thus, he had to go to the hospital where he underwent surgery. Center in Miami. Now, the guard. Let's not forget about the guard. The guard was sent to the hospital. Not exactly what you were expecting from this situation, now is it? Now, as for what happened to Kodak Black afterwards, nothing really happened. As far as we can tell, and reports are still coming in on the incident, Kodak and the other prisoner were taken back to their cells, so at least no one else got hurt as far as we can tell. On the whole, though, this entire situation is downright weird. We don't know how the whole thing started, who the other prisoner was, why Kodak Black got involved, or why he felt the need to kick the guard. Sure, you can say that prison has these things happen from time to time, but this is taking it a bit too far, don't you think? I mean, what was the point of it all? And now Kodak Black will have to face the consequences of what he did. Payback is a big deal about this. Kodak is scheduled to go to court November 13th and look at it. It's like barely a month away. I hope that Kodak Black feels good about what he did in the prison fight, because now that he did it, he's gonna have to pay the price for it. No, I don't mean monetary. I'm talking about how he's very likely going to be held accountable for not just the altercation, but for the injury to the prison guard. Again, the guard was not only injured, he went and got surgery because of what Kodak Black did to him. This is a serious thing, and that's not something that you want to have happen while you're trying to get a lesser sentence in prison. Now, of course, there are a lot of ways that this can play out, including Kodak Black not getting any punishment because he may not have started the fight that ended up hurting the guard. So at worst, he might get some time in solitary confinement and not added prison time, of which he is still awaiting sentencing for. So that could work out in his favor. Or he could be charged with aggravated assault of a prison officer and have that added to the list of charges that he is facing. Let's be clear here, Kodak Black as I'll reveal next, is facing some very serious charges at the hands of the government. So his number one priority should have been that he was a model prisoner and that he didn't do anything that could get him in trouble, paint him in a bad light, etc. Instead, he goes and gets into a prison fight that ends up injuring a guard and now Kodak Black looks like an unhinged inmate willing to strike at anyone who gets in his way. Optics matter when it comes to court cases and now his lawyer can't cite good behavior as a reason for a lesser sentence, which is entirely Kodak Black's fault. But now let's look at how the rapper got into prison in the first place, the festival arrest. Show us he was arrested on state and federal firearm charges and seen here in cuffs at the Federal Detention Center. So if you somehow didn't know, before this video, Kodak Black is in jail for some very serious charges. This all happened earlier in May 2019 when Kodak Black was set to go to a festival, specifically the Rolling Loud Music Festival, which was to be held at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. It should have been a very easy thing for him to do, except for one thing. There were acts of ferocity outside of the venue before the festival started. So the police were on site to search anyone and everyone who was going to be at the show, and that included the singers. Would you like to guess what happens next? I bet you'll get it in one try. When the police searched Kodak Black, they found several firearms on his person. Now, technically speaking, this could have been okay if he had a permit to carry them, but he did not. Instead, he actually used illegal means to get the guns, not via back alleys, but by filing false forms that allowed him to get several firearms. And the fact that he had these at the concert he was supposed to attend caused a lot of problems. The arrest wasn't immediate, and he turned himself in once the warrant for his arrest went out, but it was still a problem for him. After all, having a concealed weapon without a permit is a big crime, and getting those firearms via illegal means, that just adds to the crime, which means he could be serving a great deal of time behind bars, and apparently that's what the prosecutors in this case are going for. They're trying to put him away for a long time, at least eight years by the latest reports. This just proves that people take
take paperwork very seriously. And that is actually what leads us to one of the most important parts of this case. And another reason that he's still in jail. He was held with no bond. Now the rapper is being held without bond for violating his probation after what tonight BSO is calling a disturbing incident. After his arrest and arrangement in court, Kodak Black pleaded not guilty to the charges, which is not unexpected given who Kodak Black is. And to his credit, this charge worked because the judge in the case agreed to release him on a bond for $550,000 as long as he agreed to house arrest, which he did. For the record, house arrest is where he would be given an ankle monitor and not allowed to leave a certain part of his house until given permission. However, the prosecution in this case wasn't having this. They appealed to the judge and asked him to revoke the bond and house arrest ruling. They argued that he was a danger to the community. Wherever he goes, your honor, there's going to be guns, drugs, and shootings, the prosecutor said, adding that Black also might be at risk of fleeting. Now, if this was his first arrest, the appeal most likely would have been denied. However, Kodak Black has a very long history of issues with the law, and due to that, the judge accepted the request. The bond and release have been revoked, and now Kodak Black has to stay in jail until his official sentencing was handed down, which for him is a bigger problem than you might think. First and foremost, he's actually wanted on warrants for charges in other states, so even if he was to get out, it's likely that he would have been given over to them. Second, not long after things got rolling, he did indeed plead guilty to federal charges, likely to mitigate what was happening to him and possibly get some goodwill with the prosecutors. Based on what he pled guilty to is where the eight years in prison sentence is likely going to come from. Things could change, but we'll see. His sentencing is taking place soon though, so anything could happen. The possible sentencing. Individual that uh, had violated probation before and he was given a second chance. Obviously, he didn't take that seriously. So how does this new event with the prison fight and the injuring of a guard play into things? Will it hurt him in the long run? More than likely, yeah. According to the prosecutors in this case, they feel that if the judge rules their way, they can get Kodak Black put away for eight years. Well, that's not the longest of sentences, especially considering certain other rappers like Offset and others like him are and might be facing a decade to life in prison for their own crimes. It's still a hefty sentence. And like I mentioned before, there are other charges against Kodak Black and other states who want him for themselves. So it's possible that this arrest and possible conviction could lead to other arrests and convictions, creating a domino effect of sorts that results in him being in jail for a very long time. Or, and there is always an or, it's possible he might get only a few years of jail time and then walk. It's honestly hard to say. That being said though, it's fair to say that the reason the prosecution is going so hard after him isn't just because of his past crimes and influences on the local community, but also that they have definitive evidence and testimony that will likely put him away in a court of law. Evidence and testimony is everything. And when you hear about certain people getting off, it's because the prosecution didn't have enough to convict. This obviously didn't happen here as Kodak changed his plea and is now awaiting sentencing in the case. Now as for the prison fight issue, it's unclear whether that can be added to the other charges, but it could be levied to the judge in order to create an even greater prison stay, possibly even being put in a harsher prison should the need or worry arise. As the prosecution said, he's a danger and this latest incident proves it definitively. Past crimes, whose real name is Dyson Octave, was already on probation for charges of including armed robbery and false imprisonment. A lot of people look at rappers and think that all of them have major issues with the law. For the most part, that's untrue. However, you then see and hear about guys like Kodak Black, and you realize that those who do get in trouble with the law keep getting in trouble with the law. And he can't even make the excuse that this all happened when he was a young rapper, because he got in a lot of trouble as a kid. He was once placed in a detention center three times during a single year because of his violent and extreme behavior. Now, where have I heard that before? Violent and extreme behavior. Fast Fast forward to October of 2015 and he had his first major arrest. He was charged with battery, false imprisonment of a minor, and possession of an illegal substance. That's a pretty long list for a first arrest, don't you think? Thankfully for him, he was released not long after, but just as not long after, he got arrested again. I'm sensing a pattern of destruction here. Because in April of 2016, he was charged with possession of a weapon by a convicted felon, possession of an illegal substance, and fleeing from officers. Are you starting to notice that he doesn't exactly do anything small? It's a chain of things that often gets him in trouble. Yeah, I'm 
noticing that too. But once again, he was released. But once again, he got arrested not long afterward. In fact, it was a month later, he got arrested for armed robbery and false imprisonment. You might be wondering, what saved him from all these charges? Rap music. Ironically enough, executives from Atlantic Records came to his trial and noted that if he was released, he would have a future in the rap industry that might save him from future crimes. Yeah, because that clearly worked out for the best of everyone involved. Anyway, he pled no contest to the charges and got a plea deal as a result. He was placed on house arrest for a year, had five years probation, perform community service as required, and take anger management classes. Do note though that this was done in 2016, so he is on probation until 2021. So you'd think that he'd be more careful about getting into trouble, but he wasn't. Not at all. If anything, his new career in rap just fueled his bad behavior even more. Not to mention, before this deal even got finalized, some more warrants for his arrest were found for various other charges. So that threw a monkey wrench into his plans, though he did get out of jail and was allowed to make music. As we get into 2017, which is still two years from where we are right now, Kodak Black had another arrest as he violated the terms of his probation. This actually caused him to postpone a tour that he was doing at the time as he was hailed in jail without bond. To make matters worse, he was also indicted on a misconduct case of the worst kind if you get my drift. And we'll have to face that charge too in terms of a trial should he make it that far. And then in May 2017, he was actually sentenced to a year in jail, but then only served two months and put on house arrest for the rest. You'd think he would have learned by now, you know? But he didn't. And again, he got worse. This one time, he thought it would be a great idea for him to go to a party, do an Instagram live stream, and show him passing around illegal substances and having a firearm around a child. What could possibly go wrong with that? After the authorities were alerted, he was arrested and faced seven felony charges, including child neglect, grand theft of a firearm, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and possession of an illegal substance. The case was a long one, and along the way the charges got lesser and lesser, and he pleaded not guilty to the rest. He again served a short jail sentence. As if all these crimes weren't enough, Kodak Black also got sued for not showing up to his own concert that was rescheduled multiple times to try and benefit Kodak Black. He was sued for damages to both money and the promoter's reputation. Add that to another recent arrest in regards to having illegal substances on his person, and you get a plethora of crimes, arrests, bad decisions, and just stupidity on the part of Kodak Black. To be honest, it's a miracle that he's not in jail for life at this point, but then again, he is facing charges from various states. So when you look at the grand scheme of things and witness all that he has done, you can see where the prosecutors are coming from. Can you see why they're pressing so hard to get him in jail and keep him there for a while? He really is a danger and a threat to the people around him, and that deserves punishment for what he's done, regardless of whether it's a long or short sentence. What is the future of Kodak Black? The only way, the only way like my, my life could change and the world could soften up if I change like how I think. So that wraps up pretty much everything, and I mean everything, that Kodak Black has done to end up in this situation. And things are certainly looking bleak for the rapper, no matter which way you consider it. Shall I break down all the scenarios for you? At a minimum, they're going to ask for a year or two of jail time, and they're clearly hungry to get him off the streets for longer than that. So they're going to push for more, no doubt. So he's more than likely getting jail time. And even if he somehow got out of this one, there are a couple of other states waiting for him to stand trial for various other crimes, some of which carry heavy jail sentences themselves. Plus, don't forget the jail incident that, that honestly is a factor in all this right now because it shows character, intent, and his violent nature as he seriously injured a third party who was trying to stop things. That could help get the judge to see a massive sentence carried out. At present, it doesn't look like Kodak Black is getting out of this one. And even if he did get, say, a stint of two to three years and he didn't get charged on anything else, that doesn't mean he'll just be allowed to walk right back into the rap world. Sure, he's had some hits here and there, but he's not the biggest star out there, and a couple of years to a rapper like him is a long time to be forgotten. As of right now, Kodak Black's future is rather bleak, and he has absolutely no one but himself to blame for all of it. The sad thing is that even if he gets out, he'd likely wind up right back where he is right now. It almost seems like it's become second nature to him. And there you have it, a breakdown of Kodak Black, his jail situation, and how his recent prison fight might just seal his fate. How do you think his sentencing will carry out? Will he get some serious jail time, or will he get out of it? Do you think he deserves to be in jail for a long time let me know in the comments down below be sure to subscribe guys it's your boy king trending and i'll catch you next time on the next video a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway we will be giving away either an iphone x max the new ipad mini or a macbook pro it's really your choice so be sure to leave a like comment the keyword subscribe and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway it's really that simple go for it